What's up guys, Ruxin34 back, and this is the first time I have ever done a Beckett return. This is BGS. There's only five cards in here, but there's some fire. And um, I actually got the box, and I opened it because I didn't know what it was. My Beckett profile is actually under my personal email, and I thought it was under my YouTube email. So I never got an email about these, and they just showed up. And so this, I did a two-day turnaround on these, and they came back in six total days, which is extremely fast, two business days. So super awesome, which is like, I mean, that's really, I'm really buying into this Beckett thing because they get your cards back so quickly. Like PSA, if I was to send a two-day to PSA, it would be $200 per card. For Beckett, it was $60 per card. So that's a lot cheaper. And then if you send it to PSA, they don't log it into the system for like ages usually. It takes like a week, two weeks, even three weeks. Probably not for the two days, but still a crazy amount of time. So it costs over triple. You know, it takes longer. Um, PSA does have its you know positives, of course. But I I'm really liking how fast this came back. So I'm pretty excited to open these up. I'll let you guys know what cards are in here when we open it up. But before we get started... The giveaway for this video, it's a beat cop from the underworld, Nightmare Corruptor Ible, and a Dark Magician Girl. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments what your favorite card is, and if you prefer Beckett or PSA. If you don't grade cards, then that's fine. Just let me know which one you think you would rather grade with. How about that? Okay, and because there's only five cards in here, we're going to do a little bit of opening as well, because we don't want the video to be three minutes long. So, we are going to open some Astral Packs and some OTS Packs. These were actually... Okay, all but, well, one of these, I guess, but all these were supposed to be in the 10K video, but they were international, so they took a really long time to get here. So we're going to open them up and see if we missed out on any fire, and then we're going to open up five Cross Souls packs, and then we're going to get into the five cards. It's actually really hard to do Beckett Returns because the labels kind of give it away, but let's just go ahead and start opening and see what happens. And I'll kind of tell you guys what is in the sub. In the sub, we have the Jinzo from the 10K, so that is going to be pretty cool. Okay, I don't know where it is. Here we go. Mermail Abyss Spike, super rare. Yeah, so the five cards are Jinzo from the 10K, um, the Dark Bright we pulled that from Tactical Evolution, so that's hopefully going to get a nice grade, and then a Flare Neos that I have, an ultimate rare, and then finally a um, Unexpected Die. There we go. And the last card, what are the other? No, Serpent Knight Dragon, first edition from Magic Ruler, and there was another one. Oh, and the Red Eyes. I cracked my PSA 9 Red Eyes, and honestly, I think it might have been a mistake, because I thought it was really nice, guys. Like, you guys have seen that video. And it was really nice on the front, but the back had some major print lines. Ignite, Gallant, super rare. So, and BGS is actually more harsh on PSA. And so here was my dilemma. I cracked open that Red Eyes. And I was like, well, I could send it back, and it's almost certainly going to get another 9. Which is like, well, why do it, you know, at that point? Or I can send it to Beckett and see what happens. But Beckett is usually pretty pretty tough on the surface grade. And I, I don't know how much that's going to hurt it. Hopefully not too much. Doomdog Octhros. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about that. But if I just send it back to PSA because it's worth so much, you have to send it in at like the $75 surface level if you do it the way you're supposed to. And... That would have been 75 bucks just to re-get a 9. So I was like, eh, let's just try BGS, see what happens. Because 75 bucks, that's the 20-day turnaround service level for PSA. And 60 bucks is the 2-day for BGS. So it was a lot really cool. That was a cool master restrict. Really cool how fast and... I mean, it's not cheap. It's still 60 bucks per card. But pretty... I mean, compared to PSA, it's cheap. Void Vanishment! Okay, this is like a $9 card. So that's a good, that's a good sign. I'm extremely nervous, by the way, because this is... Okay, not only is this the first Beckett return, this is my first live reaction because I didn't know the grades were out, so I never looked. So I got them, and there was like three hours until I could come home, and I was like, well, at this point, I mean, why would I not... not I mean, why would I look? Because I'll ruin it. Normally, I do it because I can't wait. Fossil Dig! <laughs> this card's really nice. It's like It was like 10 bucks. I'm assuming, unless it got reprinted or something, but I don't think it did. So, I, Fossil Dig loves me. We pull that a lot. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. It's And super nervous. Normally, I'm not nervous because I just I know what the grades are. So, it's like, whatever. Oh, okay. We got an ultimate rare. Teller Knight. Tolmaius. I, I'm assuming that P is silent, right? Okay. We got an ultimate rare. So, we're getting some fire out of these packs. Let's go. Okay. 
I'm liking this. This is good news. Good news for the video. I think uh, OTS 7 is... We've never pulled an ultimate out of it. So let's do it now. Divine Punishment. That's not an ultimate rare. Okay. One more Cross Souls and, and an OTS 8 pack. And then we're going into the grades. I'm extremely, extremely hyped for this. Let me know, guys, what you think about the BGS. Because I used to be PSA all the way. And I still am more PSA because PSA just gives your cards better value. Unless you get like a Beckett 10 or a Beckett uh, Black Label. I'm going to set 11. Wow. But obviously that doesn't happen very much. Under Clock Taker. Super rare. So like when you compare 9.5s to 10s, 9.5s usually are worth a lot less. Okay. Here we go. We got five. It's going to be tough not to spoil these. I'm going to do my best to not spoil these. Let's see if we can do it. So I, I did already open it, as I said, because I didn't know what it was. But I didn't actually look. Wait, where's the... How do you open this thing? Okay, the labels are just going to get spoiled. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Um, okay, so we got five cards. They all come in these little sleeves, so that's cool. Okay. Alright, so that's... Okay, so this one's a silver label. But if you can t look at here, this is silver and then gold. So, silver means it's nine or less i think i don't know if they go to a different one below that but it, this means it's a nine at best this means it's a 9.5 or a 10 so that's good news so we're going to start off with this one let's pull it out of the thing i'm extremely nervous Whew, here we go oh red eyes okay yeah surface as you guys can tell the surface got absolutely murdered because i didn't i couldn't tell when i had it in the case i thought it was on the on the case but it actually was the card Okay, there's a bunch of junk in there, which maybe is on this. Yeah, it's on the slab. So the, there's a bunch of print lines coming across the back. So I'm not surprised that I got an 8.5 on the surface. Centering got... I'm surprised centering got a 9.5 because the back isn't great. Um, edges definitely got a 9 because of this, I think. Let's see if we can get it right there. Yeah, you see, guys see that? So honestly, I mean, not a super strong 9 or anything. But pretty average 9, but yeah. I mean, I can... Under, I can understand that definitely a nine grade worthy so that's okay I wasn't expecting anything more than a nine I was actually a little worried it would end up with an 8.5 so glad that didn't happen okay we do have something gold here all right let's see what it is hopefully something epic serpent night dragon this is the one I was hoping like it was like didn't really matter if we got a 9.5 but it did so okay that's pretty cool because I I mean I just kind of grabbed this randomly and threw it in there. So a, a gem mint. That's pretty cool. What did it get? It got a 9 on edges. And it got a 9.5 on everything else. Huh, I wonder what's up with the edges. I don't really see anything. Let me know if you guys see anything. It's really hard to show these. These are even, even more reflective than... Uh, oh, there we go. That's what it is. Even more reflective than PSA. See that up there? Oh, I remember, I remember seeing that actually. So I knew that was there. So 9.5. Um, but still pretty cool. Jim Mint? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Only one of these three got a 9.5 or better. Okay. So, let's see which one got the got the 9.5. That's a little scary. Here we go. What is this? Oh, the Genzo. Oh, it was so close. Look at it. Nine centering and nine edges. The edges got a nine? This is our Genzo from the 10K video. Okay, let's see if we can find the edges. You guys see anything? I mean, there is whitening, but it's not... I mean, that's just, like, normal for a Yu-Gi-Oh card. To have, like, not actual whitening, just kind of just... It's getting white right there, but it's not actually, like, any damage or anything. Maybe up there. Maybe that's a little damage. I don't know. Ooh, so that was really close to getting a 9.5. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Still, this was an epic card. We missed it on camera, but we got the return on camera, so that's cool. All right, 9.5. We're going to save the, the last 9.5 for last. Let's see what we can uh, do here. This is another 9. So this means either the... Okay, I won't spoil it so you guys can see what it is. Um, even though I mentioned what we had earlier, but here we go. Oh, Dark Bright. 8.5. Oh, I knew they were going to do this. 8.5 on the centering. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The centering is horrible on it, but look at the rest of it. 9.5, 9.5, 9.5. So, yeah, if that if that had just got bumped to a 9 centering, this thing would be a 
thing would be a 9.5. So pretty close. I mean, that's why I like the Beckett. That's why I kind of thought Beckett would be cool for this one because it's so OC. I knew there was no chance it was getting a 10 at PSA, so might as well just see if we can get the 9.5. But it was a little too OC, but that's okay. That's pretty sweet, though. I mean, that epic foil shifting, that's really cool. Okay. And then the last card, which I mentioned earlier, but you guys might not remember what it was. It's a really good one. We got a 9.5 on the Flare Neos, which is pretty awesome. Did get a 9 on centering, which is why I sent it to Beggy, because it was off-centered. It got a 9 at PSA. I cracked it. And 9.5 of everything else, so that makes sense. The card itself is super minty. They really do not like to give 10 subgrades. Yeah, but honestly, I mean, the cards are really nice. I, I'm surprised nothing got a 10, but centering got a 9. I mean, it's understandable because it is really bad, but it's not as bad as the 8.5, I guess. But 9.5 on the Flare Neos. This is the... This one and Genzo are probably around the same value, so pretty cool to get this one at 9.5. 2 out of 5 is really not that bad. Overall, because on the Red Eyes, I knew it was a 9. Um, Dark Bright, I was hoping they didn't kill the centering, but they did. And then that, I'm a little surprised that got a 9. I thought it would, would get a 9.5, but that is okay. Um, I really I really liked how fast the return was, though. I really liked how fast it was. It was awesome. I love seeing the subgrades, too, so it was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. You guys for PSA and Beckett and why. You know, what are your reasons? I, I like both. I think PSA cases look look better but i also like that they have sub i like these labels with having the subgrades i don't really love how reflected these are it's really hard to see the card you know you get all this crazy stuff and you can see that sleeve in there but seeing the subgrades you know all that stuff and the quick turnaround times are really all it's really awesome so yeah that's it for this return hope you guys did enjoy it it was a lot of fun I'm, i'll probably send more stuff to beckett at some point because it went pretty well and i don't know if i'll do two day unless it's a really big card i tried to only send stuff that was like off center and that's mostly what i sent except these two and yeah that's it for today's video i'll see you guys later thanks for watching peace oh! <sighs> elemental hero dark bright boom <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,